us get our vision and help with the mission. Current conditions. We have a lot of uncertainty in this country right now. People are losing their jobs left and right. Um, I don't know what the unemployment rate in California is. Nine, ten percent? Is that a fair figure? Okay, you understand that I'm not calling the government that they lie. I would never say that about our government. But they don't always publish the true figures. The unemployment rate in this country is more near like 18% or 19%, not 9 or 10. That's because when the government publishes unemployment figures, they don't count people who were on unemployment, collecting benefits, exhausted their benefits, and are still not working. Those people are not counted in the unemployment figures. So it is higher than that. People are still losing jobs. Companies are downsizing, etc. Market uncertainty. People are losing money. Just talk to anybody who was in the stock market two days ago when it lost 620 points and they lost. They could tell you how much they lost. It is a roller coaster with investments and future. Everybody is worried about their future. People right now are looking for a change. They are starving for a change right now. Crisis? Yeah. Cost of living. Anybody in this room think the cost of living is going down? Going up? Continually going up. What's gasoline in California? Give me a figure. What? Three what? Three seventy-nine. One of the richest oil producing countries is a country called Kuwait. I read an article last week. On the, in the business news, that gasoline in Kuwait, if you are a, uh, a, me a, a member of that country, you are a citizen of that country, gasoline in Kuwait, that's who sells us the oil, is 18 cents a gallon. 18 cents a gallon is what it is there. Same gasoline that we pay $4 a gallon. Why is that? They own it, we need it. It's the, it's the law of demand. So the cost of living is not going Debt structure. Debt structure in this company. The average American family in this country has six to eight credit cards with outstanding balances that are somewhere between eight and ten thousand dollars. And sixty percent of the average American families pay the minimum payment. You know what the minimum payment is, don't you? It's the interest. Banks love you when you make the minimum payment. I used to work for one. If you owe them $8,000 and you make the minimum payment or just above it on a regular basis, they love you so much they reward you. You know what they do? They send you a letter and they increase your credit line. And they tell you to spend more so that you can keep making that minimum payment. That's how they make their money. So that's the, that's the debt that we are facing. If you have a $10,000 balance on a credit card at the average interest rate of 14, 15%, and you make only the minimum payment or slightly above it, it takes you 42 years to pay that off. 42 years. 